Let's look in depth at three light studios from Orange Monkey so you can make an informed decision about which one will work best for you. We will review several factors to consider when making a choice. Are you doing object VR photography? Are you traveling? Are you shooting jewelry? What is the size of your subject? And do you need front lighting? Orange Monkey has three different portable studios available. A small portable 10-inch studio, the 15-inch Studio Plus with an access hole in the top and an optional front cover, which we'll look at later, and the 25-inch Studio, which is their largest model. If you're doing lots of product photography, or in my case, object VR, you might want to get all three. However, for some photographers, that's not possible right now, so let's run through some scenarios to help you decide which one will work best for you. If you're doing object VR, using the Folio 360 turntable, then we need to consider size. The turntable is 9.75 inches wide, and the Folio 1 is 10 inches wide, so it's not going to fit in the Studio 1. So if you're doing object VR and a 360 turntable, you're going to want a Folio 2 or a Folio 3. In order to photograph objects wider than 8 or 9 inches, you're also going to need the extension table and it only fits on the Folio 3 light tent. If you need to travel, then you may want to consider the maximum size of an airline check bag. This case by Pelican is the largest allowed for airlines without paying for oversized. It would easily hold the Folio 1, and just barely holds the Folio 2. The Folio 3 doesn't quite fit. If you're shooting jewelry, which does not stand up by itself, you need to be able to shoot down on the subject. Let's look at some jewelry by different sizes. When I say a large necklace, I'm thinking of something about 9 or 10 inches across. When I lay it out in the Studio Plus, it did not quite fit. The backdrop starts to curve here, and you can see the magnetic strip that holds the backdrop down here. When I laid it out in the Studio 3, it fit just fine. But as you can see, I had to put my hand inside the light tent to take the picture. The end result did not show any shadows from my hand, and it still turned out great. So for large jewelry, no more than 12 inches, you're going to need to have the Folio 3 Light Studio. Now let's look at a smaller necklace. This example is about 4 to 5 inches when laid out flat. It fits just fine in the bottom of a Studio 2 Plus. The Studio 2 has a hole in the top, which allows you to take pictures without your hand blocking the light. This opening in the top allows you to use a DSLR camera and a tripod. The end result is really nice. So for smaller necklaces, you have the option of a Folio 2 Plus or the Studio 3, with the 2 being the best option because of the opening in the top. Now let's look at earrings. They fit just fine in the bottom of a Studio 1. With a little Photoshop work, the end result is great. So with small items up to 8 inches tall and about 6 inches wide, you can use the Folio 1, and of course, the larger ones will work as well. The really great thing about the Folio 1 is that it can fit inside of a camera bag right along with your equipment. Now that's pretty handy. It also has several different backgrounds that you can easily switch out for different items. Now let's consider the size of objects we could photograph in each studio because that will be a really important factor in which one you select. The Studio 3, which is the 25-inch model, will hold a turntable and an additional 16-inch high object. Without the turntable, you're looking at another inch and a half of space. Notice that for this shoot, I am using an additional Halo Bar light kit. The Studio 2 Plus, which is the 15-inch model, will hold the turntable and an additional 12-inch high object. Without the turntable, you're looking at another inch and a half of space. The Studio One, which has an internal dimension of 10 inches, would hold a 7 inch high mug just fine. Remember that this will not hold the turntable, so we cannot use it for object VR. The Folio One has two different light strips. Each one is powered by a standard wall plug adapter, not included. Or, as you can see in my photo, you can use a portable USB power source, which would allow you to go into the wild. This pine cone was taken with my phone. 
I used the Studio One and a USB power supply hook to one of the lights. So in summary, you can safely shoot a 16-inch object in this large Studio 3. You can shoot a 12-inch object in the Folio 2 Plus and an 8-inch object in the Folio 1 Studio. The Studio 2 Plus has an optional front cover that you can add to reflect light back on the subject. The shutter speed I used for this test was 100 and the f-stop was 9 for all three images that you will see. Let's look at this feature using a wooden puzzle as the subject. Here's my setup for this shot with the open front and here's the untouched result. Here's my setup for the shot with the front cover. Here's the untouched result. Notice that the background is lighter and the face of the subject is also lighter due to the reflected light from the front cover. Here is a similar result using the Halo Bar light kit instead of the front cover to provide additional light on the subject. Now let's look at all three side by side and you can decide which one you want to go with. In this video, we reviewed scenarios about object VR photography, travel, jewelry, subject size, and front lighting. I hope this information will help you make a decision about which Folio Light Studio is best for you. I reached out to Orange Monkey and asked them if they would give a discount on products demonstrated in this video. They have provided a coupon code that you can use on checkout to save 5% off your total order. The coupon code is PAUL01. I hope you enjoy their products as much as I have. If you want to learn more about object VR photography, then you can sign up for my course on Udemy titled 360 Panoramic Photography for Virtual Tours and Object VR.